Hello, this is how you find the total energy of a point from a ring of charge. First, you need the distance from the edge of the ring to the point. Following this, you need the derivative of energy, which the calculations can be seen on the right. Now, you need the cosine of theta in order to get the derivative of the energy in the x direction, which is equivalent to the adjacent over hypotenuse, or x over d. Before we move on, why do we take the derivative of the energy? Well, we take the derivative to calculate a single point and use the integral to find the total charge of the ring. Back to this. Now we will multiply the cosine of theta, or x over d, by the derivative of energy, which is equal to this. Following this, we will take the integral of the derivative of energy in the x direction. Afterwards, we will convert q total to 2 pi r, which is equivalent to the circumference, and multiply by lambda, the linear density charge. And finally, we have our ultimate equation. If you were to graph this equation, it would look like something on the top right. Thank you. I hope you learned something. And goodbye.